It's story time. It's been a while. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, this is Zach with IT Career Questions, and today I am telling a story. It's been a while, right? I know, I just kind of said that, huh? Anyway, the story today is, and it's something that I talked about in probably a live stream. I may have mentioned it in a video a couple weeks ago, maybe. But I was setting up computers for trainings that we had to do. So we were rolling out a new electronic medical record system, or EMR, if you're familiar with the healthcare terms. And I had to set up about 22 desktop computers. I had to image 22 desktop computers and get those set up for this EMR training. But that's not really all because we had to set up another 44 WISE terminals on top of that. So we had 66 computers that we had to set up for trainings. And this spanned across three different rooms at one of our locations for the hospital. So this training was fairly large. So I'm gonna kind of give you a little glimpse at what that looks like. So here you go. And we're back. So that is basically what our setup looked like for the training. And you would basically think like, all right, you guys like utilized all those computers. That's a lot of people, you know, 66 uh, computers for training. You know, that's, that training lasted a week. There was a week's worth of training. Actually, like, I don't know, it was six days or something of training, I believe. Maybe around there. Anyway. You would think those classrooms were filled every single day. 22 people in the classroom every single day. No. No, there wasn't. I was very disappointed. I was very upset with the, <laughs> the fact that it was underutilized. We had spent a lot of man hours. There was a lot of man hours involved in just setting up 66 computers. There was a lot of man hours involved on my end just imaging and deploying the 22 desktop computers alone because the imaging process that we use, it takes a decent amount of time. Uh, you know, you have to go through the imaging process, which isn't too bad. It's the updating process, you know, doing all the Windows updates. That takes a long time. So you can image a computer in roughly about a half hour, 45 minutes or so. But what we do is we image it again because it'll apply all of our Windows updates. Once that computer registers in WSUS and all that fun stuff, it'll pull all of our Windows updates. And that part takes a long time. Then you have to go through making sure everything is up to date again. And then, you know, if it needs Office, you have to install Office on there. And after that, you have to do more updates. It's a long, drown out process no matter what. There's really never a clean way to do that. And some people might say, well, you could just capture an image with all of your updates and things like that. A lot of times that is a pain in the neck to do and a pain in the neck to keep up with. So it's easier, I think in my opinion and in the past experience that I've used to just deploy uh, computers and then apply updates afterwards just because you don't have to worry about whatever. We can cut that out. <clears throat> but all in all, it takes about four or five hours just to have one computer done. Just to have one computer completely imaged, completely updated, uh, installing Office, all any other different peripherals that are needed on that, and making sure that it works. It's, it's a long process. So, you know, four or five hours times 22 computers, and I actually did an extra. I did 23 in case one broke down. I always have to have an extra in case one breaks down. That's a long time. And in that classroom, there was never more than like maybe 13 people, I believe, in that entire training time. And it's not fault to the people that I work with. It's not fault of the department, our department, and scheduling people and things like that. That's not, it's not our fault. It's not our I'm not throwing blame anywhere. I'm not upset with anybody specifically in my department. 
I'm just upset in general that uh, that happened that way. There, that there was a lot of wasted man hours there because if we would have known, I guess, ahead of time that we didn't need that many computers, we wouldn't have wasted that much time. There's a lot of time wasted. So I guess the moral of this video right now is, yes, you go and you do these great, amazing things and setups and stuff like that. And it's always, always, always great to be, you know, over prepared than obviously under prepared. And sometimes that does happen where you maybe you don't have enough computers. And that could have been the case with this and we wouldn't have known. We could have had like, uh, 25 people in that classroom at one point and we would not have been prepared for that but sometimes stuff like that happens and it's frustrating and there's not much you could do about it but me complain about it right here which is what I'm doing because it's just it, it's a, it was just a waste of time on my end doing all that stuff and you'll like I said run across that type of thing in IT very often you'll run across different things where you go through this whole big drawn out setup or installation of something and it turns out it wasn't needed or it was way overestimated or you just scratch it completely and you kind of get over it, you get used to it and you move on from it. The most important thing you could do after experiencing things like that is when you know that you are going to be going through something like that again is to make sure that everybody is properly prepared and properly scheduling everything accordingly. So making sure everybody is touching bases with everybody and making sure that, you know, nobody is wasting time, I guess. So this is just kind of like a, here's what I've been doing. Here's why I'm frustrated. Here's a little bit of behind the scenes. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's going to be kind of long and I apologize for that. So anyway, as always, take it easy.